All right, Mike, we're talking about a project today that hits really close to home. I mean, my home, squeaks in the floor. Mike has a few approaches to floor squeaks. The first is a simple trick that works for noisy hardwood. It's the wood flooring itself sliding back and yeah. forth on the fastener uh, to try to get some lubricant into the space between the Shh. fastener and the flooring. We're simply going to uh, sprinkle some baby powder on it. Why don't you uh, so, show us what you got? Let's say our squeak is in this particular crack. You're just going to take the baby powder, move it back and forth until it gets into the crack. Pound on the floor a little bit. All you're trying to do is get the to baby powder down in the, between the two boards. Okay. And then simply take a wet rag or a wet towel and wipe off the extra. You don't want to vacuum the baby powder because then, you'll suck it because then you're going to pull out exactly what you just put back in there. That's it. The baby powder trick isn't a one-shot fix and it's not permanent. You'll need to give it a few tries and some time to work out that squeak, but it sure beats pulling up floorboards. Now that seems easy enough, but there's a second way you're going to show me? Well, for a different type of squeak, it's the squeak on the subfloor below your hardwood flooring. Mike has built a model to show me how to fix a squeak in the subfloor. In your home, uh, you have the subflooring, which is under your finished floor, whether it's carpet, tile, uh, hardwood flooring. There's subflooring underneath it. Yep. Underneath that, carrying the subfloor, are the floor joists. That's the framing members underneath. This is conventional framing. The conventional framing is the squeakiest floor you'll find. Okay. Because this board may be slightly shorter than this one and that one, and what what's causing the squeak is the fact that the nail stays attached to the framing member, but the plywood moves up and down squeaking as it's riding on the nail. If you're lucky enough to be replacing your flooring and your subfloor is already exposed, the fix is easy. Typically the flooring is nailed to the, the subfloor is nailed to the floor joist. We're taking and adding screws into the floor joist. You can find the lines where to put the screws based on the nails that are already in the floor. Every 16 inches is the floor joist. Take your screw. The screws are just going to supplement what the nails are already doing. Okay. But if you're not replacing your flooring anytime soon and that squeak is driving you crazy, there's another way. If you have an unfinished basement or one with a drop ceiling underneath where your squeak is, there are two easy ways to handle the problem from below. A block of wood, put some glue on two sides. We're gonna stick that up in the corner and then we're gonna take a screw and your drill. If I can get my big head out of the way. This little block of wood glued in there. Uh, don't, don't do it without glue, otherwise yeah. you're just creating a squeak for later. Yep. This is making up the difference in the short floor joist and stop the subfloor from moving up and down. Easy enough, and here's another option. Then we have a mechanical fixture that we can uh, add to the floor framing. It hooks on the bottom of the joist, screws into the bottom of the subfloor, and basically pulls the two together. So this is basically working as a clamp to keep your subfloor Correct. And together. And just tighten this up and you're done. I love finding simple solutions to common problems. These fixes were all under $10 and should take less than 15 minutes if you have access to the squeak causing areas. If I hear any more squeaks coming out of this floor, I'm either gonna get a cat or some mouse traps. Shh.